picture this. A shy little girl wearing clothes from children's place who was polite to anyone and never talks back because she was afraid of seeing what she truly was thinking. Of course, that was me. I wasn't a rebel, always followed the teacher's rules, and every day I liked to class and I swore trouble. Kept to myself most of the time, you never saw me playing in my backyard with the kids in my neighborhood. Instead, you saw me with my pink and mauve journal with a captivating book in my hands. I was always told Jada, don't let people walk over you, but honestly, I never really listened. It would always go through one ear and right out the other. I insisted on always doing what everybody asked to me, basically a goody two-shoes if you think about it. I would regularly receive those yellow bumper stickers that you see on practically every parent's car, the my child is a terrific kid. People would always tell me I talk so proper for a girl my age. Little old me did have friends that were always there to lean on, but at such a young age, I was definitely not the social butterfly. Therefore, I read book after book and page after page. I did play with toys when I was a kid, but I love the feeling of reading a novel and knowing that it could capture your attention with just those black words on a page. Books were my ticket to a new and adventurous world. How would it take me to a world if I hadn't gone if it really I was sitting on my full size bed at home? I enjoyed knowing the fact that I could open a book and bury myself in it. The times I wasn't hanging out with my friends, I was at one of my favorite places in the world, Barnes & Noble. I loved walking in and smelling the fresh new books that made me so content. I was truly happy when I was there, but when I was young, I never really understood how people despised reading when it filled me with such joy. I decided that I didn't just have to read, I could express my thoughts and opinions in words. The feeling of letting out your inner thoughts and collecting them on a piece of paper made me feel sane. But I never really tried to tell a story, they were just little snippets of my day or what I wished to try when I grew up, such as going to concerts and enjoying the energy from the performer. I never really had those diaries with the locks on them that little girls love to write their deeper innermost secrets in. I just had a little journal that you could buy at Target for like $2. I'd always turn to my journal when I was feeling down or aggravated. It became special to me just like how reading was and I loved it. I also didn't just write in this journal, I would keep my favorite quotes from books or even movies that inspired me. Sometimes I would even finish that journal and have to buy a new one to make even more entries in them. In fact, being shy wasn't actually a bad thing. Since I would read and write so often, it helped me to improve academically. I would do well on my essays, mostly with the occasional red or blue marks that would seem to appear on the papers by my English teachers. My favorite English teacher on the Purple Hall was Miss Dam, and she told me I should sign up for English One Honors. I did exactly that. I don't regret signing up either because I enjoyed the course and wanted to continue. This course was very eye-opening to me. I learned and processed things I thought I would never have. also wrote about certain topics that brought in my knowledge. If I can recall, I wrote about people who are homeless, why Barbie isn't a role model for little girls, and even how her courage was expressed in The Killing Mockingbird. Not only did I write different essays, I also had to write a rap about the novel of my Simin. I love making the rap, but definitely not presenting it in front of the class with almost every eye in the room staring at me. I took this course all the way up to the very last one, which was English for Honors, and I'm glad I was able to take it. Strangely enough, being shy turned out pretty well for me. This aspect of my life actually helped me out in more ways than possible. I'm not saying I enjoyed being so shy, but it led me to appreciate reading and improving how I write. I learned that keeping to yourself and not being really social isn't all that dreadful. There are definitely some perks for me. Instead of playing games or texting my friends on a new razor flip phone every kid had, I would be reading. Or every time I had free time in class, I would write in my journal. I wouldn't change the fact that I was so shy, because I think it improved not only my education, but myself as well.